Hello and welcome to Factorio Raw. I'm Acretio. In this episode, we will start with the uh, blue science pack. So let's have another refresher. We need advanced circuits, we need engines, and electric mining drills. Oh, how many of each? One of each. Good. Electric mining drills. Where do we have those? Over here. Okay, that's fairly easy. Engines we have over here. Steel plate I'm getting. Yeah, that's also fairly easy to create. What about the advanced circuit? Well, that needs plastic and electronic circuits and copper cable. Actually, there's nothing that's really hard to create. So let's start doing it, I guess. The ID, do we have? Yeah, we do have a lot of those. The idea is that we do it over here and hmm. Oh yeah, the time. 12 seconds, so that means 12 labs. Oh, we need more uh, assembly machines. We need more iron. Surprise, surprise, we need more iron. Oh, this have run out of uh, of iron. Okay, let's uh, replace it over here, I guess. And then we have, let's see, this one. Oh, that didn't work. That one, and there we go. Okay, now everything should be running again. Well, of course, we won't get any. Uh, any steel for a while, but never mind. It will get, we will get there eventually. Okay, so 12 of those. And I'm, I'm thinking that the, uh, the assembly machines that create the actual science packs they should be quite quite far to the left. So like here. Oh, we need more more uh, belts. Luckily, belts is set up to be produced automatically. And we have five stacks of them. And the production just skyrocketed. Okay, so there we go with those. Then I think, well, we could go all the way up, actually. Did we say 12? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think that's 12. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes. Something like that. Uh, as usual, we might have to adjust it. And then we have lines in, two lines in, because we need uh, three types of materials. So let's do it like that. Oh, we are missing iron to be able to get more assembly machines created. Ideally, I should set up production of assembly machines. But, uh, that's for a future episode. Anyway, let's look at this. For the electric mining drill, we need oh, electronic circuit, iron gear wheels, and iron plates. Yeah, that's not what I what I wanted. Never mind. Oh, that's not too bad, I guess. Let's say that we get let's test and uh, we have iron over here. So that's iron. This takes two seconds by the way. Oh, that means we need two of them. Um, yeah, that's, that's a bit worse actually. Iron gear wheels. That takes half a second. And how many do we need? We need five of those that's two and a half 
assembly machines. That's five. Oh. Okay. This is not as easy as I thought. <laughs> uh, we need way more assembly machines. Way more assembly machines. More than that, even. That wasn't many, I know. Oh, let's uh, stop this production of steel and grab the iron plates directly. And this. There we go. Okay, so this doesn't work the way I wanted. I wanted it to work. This take takes half a second. Oh, uh, wait, that's for. It's for this. We need three of them. Okay, let's. I need to write this down. I should have done this before starting the episode. Okay. Um, yeah, electric. Mining drill that takes two seconds and it takes three electronic circuits, uh, five iron gear wheels, and ten iron plates. That's a lot of iron as well. And the iron gear wheels, let's have a quick look. That takes half a second. That means we need. Oh, we need five. We need. Oh, electric mine drill. Yeah, we need two of those. So we need to double these ones. That means we need five of those. Yeah, I think. Electronic circuits, that takes half a second, but we need three of them. So that means we need three of them. But for those, we also need copper cable. Three copper cable. Why are we worrying about that? Let's do four of them. Well, actually, let's do this mathematics. So two copper cables, half a second. That means we can create four copper cable a second. And yes, I'm not counting the machines, the assembly machines now. Four per second, but we need nine. That means we need four machines, right? Or does it? Huh. Yeah, four times... I, I think that's right. And then we need the... Let's see. Then we need the iron plates. That's fine. Oh, thank you for that. Let's, uh, yeah, we probably want to do some kind of research. Walls, night vision. Oh, let's do the solar panel. That will lead to logistic slots. That's not bad. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, actually. Let's not worry about that right now. But I'm thinking about what is it that we can do to get the... Uh... Oh, gun turret damage. Yes, please. We are using the gun turrets. Let's do that. But yeah, let's see how much we need. We need... Uh, for this electric mining drill, we need 23 iron, iron plates, and, oh, actually times 2, 46 per second, and then we need 4 and a half uh, copper plates, times 2, 
equals 9 per second. Okay. And that's the first thing we want to produce. Then we want to produce the next thing. But let's... Actually, we don't want to produce that next. We want to produce the engine units next. But let's first do this. So we need two two assembly machines. Oh, do we have any more iron now? We need more we need more fuel at least. Yes, we do have some more iron. Goody. And we need some more coal. Okay, so let's leave a bit of room like that. Okay, just to mark it out, these are the science packs, these are the electric mine drills. No, no, no. Electric mine drills. Okay. And for these, we need the iron. That's actually pretty okay to have that going like that, I think. Yeah, I think I think that's okay. Then we need. We actually need more assembly machines than than we have just for this part of it. Then we need. Uh, copper cable and electronic circuits and iron cables. Oh, I know how to do this. Let's, but let's uh, let's see if we need research speed. No, thank you. It's way more than we can handle right now, as it is. What happens if we go to the modular arm? Oh, we have already researched the uh, portable solar panel. That's what I was was about to uh, research. But, but batteries, we definitely need that as well. What does that require? Batteries and steel plates, not too bad actually. Okay, so what I'm thinking now is let's move this down a bit. Let's move it down. Yeah. Is that enough even? Yeah, I, th I think that could be enough. Maybe. Or maybe not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's not do any more research right now. I need to concentrate on this. Okay, first of all, let's get two lines in here. And let's move these down. And let's move move it like this. Then we have it all on run one row. Okay. So these are new ones for for that. And then we have Electronic circuits, we need, let's just do the normal build. Yeah, oh, um, almost the normal build at least. Whoops, oh. We are creating a few too many electronic circuits, but that's quite okay. How is it? Do we need for electronic circuits? What do we need for those? We need one iron plate. Okay, so it, we can have iron over here. We can have the electronic circuits over here. Great. Oh, but then we have the iron gear wheels. We are moving too far, too far down, actually. Um, let's 
to draw it up this line. And then we want, I guess let's leave a gap of one. Mm, IMG wheels. Okay, so that's the IMG wheel production. And let me think. Where do we want to, I mean, we want the belt to go like this. And this is IMG wheels. And we want to move all of this up. Robots would have been great now to be able to move this automatically. <laughs> that would have been a really good idea. Okay, so let's move that. One, two, and one to the left. Just because I noticed that I can. Okay. Let's get rid of all of these. Great. And then we have these two. Okay, so these are the green circuits. These are the copper cable. And these we will move up. These are the, where do we have them? Electronic mining drills. So we basically have everything on those two lines, except copper that we have on this line. Yeah, so this will kind of work out for this part of the build, I think. Oh, uh, but how do we want to do it? Let's have a look at that one. We need many, many iron plates, but we need many, many iron plates for these ones as well. Let's put the iron plates on top. I think that's the best thing to do. Iron plates on top, and the uh, other stuff on the bottom. Something like that. So there we have everything. And yeah, we have this one, we have this one. Of course, these are going to the left somehow. We don't know exactly how yet. But we also need the red inserters. Wait, right, these are grabbing, so these are delivering, and these are delivering. Okay, good. Then I want to get some power poles in place, because the uh, flashing annoys me. It really does. So getting this in place. Yes, it stopped flashing. Okay, um, let's actually... No. No. I can't figure out what I should do. Okay. Oh yeah, that is actually right. There we go. All of these. Goody. Then we have the one product. This we want to wait with. Let's go for the engine units. Ten of them. That takes steel plate, iron gear wheels, and pipes. Okay. But ten seconds. That means we need ten assembly machines. This is going to be way larger build than I thought. We need more iron. Surprise! Not really a surprise. Okay, so... 
Hmm. Ten of these assembly machines? I didn't expect it to be that much. How many do we need of the... We need six of these? Okay, that is actually manageable. Okay, ten of these. Is this... Yeah, kind of. What do we need? We need... Oh, engines. We need three items, so that's not good enough. We actually should move it down by one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's about here. About here we we stop. And to create those, let's actually make a new note while we are building and mining iron. So we need engine units. We need ten. Ten seconds equals ten machines. That we need steel. One, we need iron gear wheels, one, and we need pipe, two, which equals to ten of each, except the pipes, that's of course twenty for the whole production. Let's look at the iron gear wheels, it takes half a second, that equals to five assembly machines. What about the pipes? Half a second for one, that equals to ten assembly machines. Okay. Okay. And then we need the steel. The steel we haven't thought about yet. But we need 5 of one and 10 of the other. We could continue to the right. I, actually, that's what I think we more or less have to do. Or go up. Oh, but we need smelting as well. Uh, smelting, yeah. And that's... That's for this part of it. Oh. Yeah, I did put on some uh, some stuff, but I forgot about lighting. So let's get some lights in place. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let's see, can we get some more iron? Then we can create a few more assembly machines. And yes, I was feeling that we needed some uh, some copper right about now. So let's go up and grab some copper. Oh, and let's refuel. This is so much nicer that you can drag. So much nicer. Okay, let's do some research. Just concrete, I guess. 250 of each, that's good. That will take a while. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was not far off. So these are for electric engines. Should I split everything up? Yeah, I, I should split it up. I definitely should split it up to have... That means I have to get rid of all of this, I guess. Yeah, it does. To have it... Uh, to have some above and some below. Then we have two rows and I think the raw materials in the middle uh, the assembly machines. Yeah. This is, I guess, something that will happen uh, whenever we play this, this uh, series. 
because we will need way more assembly machines and stuff than we than we realize so yeah this is uh, do, 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 do. engine units there we go and we have insertos this I guess oh and then of course we have the output somewhere and we need the long-handed inserters and we can get rid of this one yes Okay, that's the engine units. What we need more is steel and pipe. And I'm actually thinking that we could do one row of 10 assembly machines. Well, we can't, we don't have enough assembly machines. More iron, please. Yes, oh, this will have steel, but we need iron for these things. Oh, for these things. So if we just, why not? Oh, we can, no, that was right. That was totally right. Except the last one. If we do it like this, we have iron. No, we should move this up by one. We are producing, let's see. Let's say we are producing iron gear wheels here. And then we are producing pipes over here. It doesn't really matter what we are producing where. That's the output. Something like that. Uh, any more? Nope. Any more iron, please? Almost enough iron to build, build a pipe assembly pipe stuff. Oh, this is what threw me off. This should be cut like that. And we should have a line going over here with uh, iron getting into the, the system. Uh, then we need our normal inserters, of course. And by doing it this way, we will automatically get it on different sides of the belt mm. yeah that's right and just one more okay do we have any more well uh, Insertos. No. So we need to grab some more insertos. Actually, we should grab a bit more long handed insertos as well. While we're anyway up and uh, getting stuff. Where are they? Oh, they're over here. Here we have the long handed insertos. That's, that should be enough. Fast insertos over here. That's about it. Okay, okay. So, is that... Oh, and then we need the steel, yeah. Oh, I didn't think about the steel. Never mind. We just go like this. Okay, 
let's do cause. Oh, by the way, let's have a look. The modular armor or that takes advanced circuits. The portable solar panel, that's right. They take solar panels. And solar panels, we haven't researched yet. Mm, yeah, there we go. So this is the steel input line. This is iron input, iron input. And hopefully this will work out. Uh, this is messy. I guess it will be better when we get our uh, robots. Not because the builds will be simpler, not, not in any way. But then we can have uh, blueprints that we use. There we go, and all of those. Goody. So now for the last, the last thing that we need, which is advanced circuits. Oh, that only takes plastic, actually. And plastic, that's only petroleum gas and coal. Okay. Well, only plastic. It takes electronic circuits and copper cable, of course. So, another note. Let's look at that. Oh, and we, by the way, we need more materials. We need more assembly machines. So, uh, where did we go? Advanced circuits. That takes six seconds. Or equals six assembly machines. Uh, we need two electronic circuit, which hmm, let's look at that immediately, which takes half a second. That equals six assembly machines, I think. Then we need two plastic bowls. Which equals, let's do the circuit network, plastic bars. Oh, can I even see that? Oh, that is made in the whatever it's called in the chemical plant. I actually need to create one of those because the assembly machines and chemical plants work at different rates. This works in crafting speed 0.75. I'm pointing to the right side of the screen, but I don't know the speed of this chemical plant. Let's hope it's one, and if it is, let's ignore it. Because the uh, level 3 assembly machine, I think that works a little bit faster than, than one. 1.25. Okay, let's ignore that. Then when we upgrade to level 3, I think it's the same uh, speed. So the plastic bars takes one second for each. No, wait, uh, what? What? Wait, wait, I did something wrong just a second ago. We need two electro... Oh, it takes half a second. That's what I thought was wrong. These ones take one second, but two plastic bars. So we need six of those. Thank you for doing that. Let's do this one. Yeah. And that takes 20 petroleum gas times six equals 120 per second. No. Yes, per machine. That that's right. I think we need to have a look at the refinery as well. And we need more assembly machines. Oh, by the way, one of the assembly machines should be put on there. And marked as as the pipes. 
Okay, if I just stall for a little bit, this can be created. Or I could just go on and see what more do we need. We need copper cable. For copper cable, that equals to two copper cables in half a second. That equals to four cables. Or yeah, four cables per second. That equals to one of those assembly machines for each of the uh, red circuits. That equals to six of those assembly machines. Yeah, let's continue with that, I guess. Uh, but let's have a look at the refinery as well. Oh, yeah, this is... Okay, so the ref... Okay, what? Ugh. The refinery... Actually, let's not worry too much about the refinery. Or let's worry about it. We can always pick it up. But the thing is that when we get further, we get better oil processing and we can break down the heavy and light oil into petroleum gas as well. Uh, but we can always pick up the, the uh, whatever they are called, the refineries to get the, the ratios and everything correct. Okay. So... To handle this, we need 120 per second. To, to produce 120, we need three of them times five seconds. That equals to 15 of these. Um, that's a lot. I won't be able to handle that. Or to create them. I don't even think I have nearly close to the amount of material that I need. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did I do everything of this? Oh yeah, I forgot about the copper cable for this one. But I need six of those, that means nine of the copper cables. Okay, that's easy mathematics at least. Uh, and this one, yep. So basically I need 15, 21, time, uh, not times. Plus six, that's 27 assembly machines for this setup. Did I get that? Yeah, let's do that as well. 27 assembly machines. And we got six. And we actually don't even have any more space. And we haven't even thought about smelting it. Um, Yeah, how do I do this? Well, the easy thing to do is, of course, to just start and plunk things down. And oh, I'm thinking about output. Output on the top, since we want to lead them up here. Then we have uh, the assembly machines for the red circuits. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's actually kind of perfect in numbers, not in anything else. Then we have the input. I shouldn't have gone for gone for one of each to start off. That's that was a mistake. But I think it's too late to turn back now. Not really, but it's more fun doing it this way, don't you think? I do at least. 
Well, kind of. It's both fun and annoying. Okay, so there we go with those. We have seven new assembly machines. We need like 70 more or something like that. No, not really, but we need a lot more. Oh, I did not mean to grab the coal. Okay. Um, so what is... How many can we... We can create three. Oh, we need more, uh, more copper. I want to set up some better smelting. Some better iron smelting for me. That's definitely needed. And then I'm talking about both iron and steel. Because we need... Oh, actually we don't need that many of those. Oh, let's go and grab a bit of these. I don't know how many I should grab, not really. Yeah, we need this setup over here. Actually, we should have started with that, I guess. Well, we shouldn't have started with it. Six, we, do we have enough space before these? Let's see if we have one space. If we have one space, we don't have enough room. But if we don't have any space at all, this actually works. And then the idea... Then we can put uh, a normal electric stuff over here to get that all later on this is to pr to produce the copper cable and then we need a lot more to yeah i i think it's time to set up the uh the better smelting let's grab that that and these power poles and where could we set up this smelting i think to the right over here I mean, this doesn't have to be fancy in any way. But I would like it to be... Well, I don't even need to have that much control over it, I guess. Let's do it like this. Oh. Okay, so... We have kind of the belt balancer. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do the fluid wagon, I guess. Then we need this one. And we have some Some ore being uh, moved. And we can go for setting up smelters. And I know, they're not called smelters, they're called furnaces. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, that seems. That seems about right. If you would ask me, I would say this is exactly the amount we want. And the reason I would say it is because it's the amount we got. Um, okay. Oh, let's actually do that, use those, and then we use these for steel only. So set up. I was about to set up steel up here as well, but let's do it like this instead. This might might be better, might not. Probably it doesn't 
Matt really? Uh, oh, we don't have enough fuel over here. Oh, <laughs> the fuel is basically part of the uh, part of the factory now. So we don't have to worry too much about the fuel. Okay. Good. So we have uh, we are producing steel like never before. Oh. Okay, that ran out of iron. Whoopsie. Let's let's plank it down over there again. There we go. And thank you. Solar energy. Well, we need that. There we go. And we need this one. And we need some coal. Let's have a look. 15 left, 700. Okay, this we can move. 15, that's not... Well, it is worth it, of course it is. But almost not. Anyway, we will get it. Uh, it won't matter that much. We will get it either way. Okay. That's not what I meant to do, <laughs> but we really needed it, so. Oh yes, can just run and get all of that sweet, sweet iron goodie. Oh, we can create a bunch of those and a bunch of refineries and a bunch of chemical plants, good. Okay, so what we need below this, we need the iron. Yeah, this is this is gonna be horrendous. Oh, let's mark this as the actual electronic circuits. How many belts do we have? Not enough. Well, I could have told you that. Go. Let's grab a bunch of uh, bunch of belts. Well, all, all belt production. It's over here. Actually, let's grab that man. We are using them really, really fast. Okay, it's not enough just uh, keeping still. You have to actually move the mouse. It's not enough keeping the mouse still and just move yourself. That's actually a thing I will report as a bug. Or at least look if someone else have reported it. If it's already reported, there's no reason I should report it as well. Oh, while we are waiting for everything to be produced, we can set up everything over here. And we can actually move the uh, move the labs as well if we think there are time enough. I wouldn't think there is because I mean we are not gonna produce this today anyway we are setting up everything but we still need the uh, the smelting and there's no way we have time to set that up okay let's do this and just stop all of these inserters that way the research on the right side can finish up and then we can move the labs. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of strange. 
Oh, and we don't have any lamps over here. Why not? Well, because it's a new area and I didn't think about it, of course. Over here. Yeah, let's just plunk down some lamps. Random locations. There might be a system behind it, but if there is, I don't know about it. Oh, not... What, oh, that's definitely not what I wanted. But I want to get some power poles in place over here as well. And let's use the good power poles. Well, at least to start with. Uh, that way we don't need to double up the power poles. And to get things out of the system. There we go. And this one. Okay. Do we have enough assembly machines now? No. But we have a few. Oh. Uh, I could of course have set up the the inserters for all of these while we were waiting but we set up other inserters instead so that's not a big deal yeah let's do it like this and then we have the big inserter to get stuff out We got some more lamps to produce. Come on, lamps, please. And we need power poles. Okay, and we want a few of those power poles as well. Yeah, so we have that one. Now let's have another look. We have the electronic circuits set up. Plastic bars we need to set up. And the copper cable we need to set up. Yeah, copper cable. We need six assembly machines. We don't have really enough plastic bars. Yeah, those aren't made in one of these, making it harder to set up before we have all the machines, which we actually have now. Kind of. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about setting up the copper cables over here, but if we do that, we can't use the same input as we use for the other ones because smelting is going to be over here, I guess. So copper cables. I guess copper cables over here. Oh, we need uh, this as input, but that, that's iron input. We have copper input over here. Hmm. Let's actually do it like this. Let's see. Oh. If we go like this. Six. Is that what we need? Yes, it is. So, oh. Research done. Yay. Stack insert. Oh, let's go for that. And, oops. Then we go for the copper like this, yes, and we go for oh. go for that, and of course we need to reconnect this. Where is that? Oh, it's not actually doing anything. Let's instead pick this up. So these are for copper cables. No, said copy. 
Couple cables, yay. Okay, that's copper cables and could easily lead these. Oh, what is the ratio? It's not too bad. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can do something like this. Just lead it on there, and we have an underground belt for the for the iron, and then we should have copper cable on the inside and these on the outside. Good. Then the only thing we need is the plastic bar, and we need six chemical plants and fifteen refineries. Need way more refineries. This is way more refineries than I thought we would we would need in the game, basically. I'm not sure I haven't miscounted. And the answer to that is of course no, I'm not sure. So let's count it once more. Okay, we need 120 um, petroleum gas per second. We get 40 per 5 seconds. So we need 3 to get 120 times the 5. Yeah, we need 15 of those. There's no way around it, really. That's 12. 15 okay, stone bricks oh stone bricks is nice to to not have enough of because we actually have a lot of those laying around well we have a hundred i thought we had way more oh uh did we ever get the power poles yes we did so let's get those in place and that power pole, we have all of that. We could uh, place power poles over here as well, and we should. Can we get rid of that one? No, but we can move it. And then we can connect those two with each other. Okay, so the actual plastic Yeah, the actual plastic is from the chemical plants And we only need six of those One, two, three Oh, we need to get rid of, get, not get rid of, we need to uh, not cause problems for that one. Okay. And then we need, let's see, if we change that to plastic, we need to get, We need coal in and petroleum gas out. Okay. No. <laughs> coal in and plastic out. And we actually need less coal than petroleum gas. So if we do it like that, and we say that we want that in, then we want that out. Then we can move this over here okay so this is plastic 
and we have two lines one over there with the output one over here with the call as input and then we just have everything connected this is the easy part of it oh and then we of course have uh, power poles something like that yes oh we can't run through those uh, but that's actually kind of okay because then we can show that we can just have one big long pipe and that's all we need now we got 10 do we have more refineries yes we have 15 yeah I'm thinking if we get, oh, let's have a look at the map. Yeah, I forgot about that. You can see it's really grainy. Maybe that's not at all good for YouTube. Probably not. Okay, so we can't go the. I'm thinking if we have some from that one onto somewhere, then we have another line over here, which is the light oil, I guess. Okay, thank you. Let's do this one as well. That's light oil. Then we have the next, and we have the heavy oil. And then we can go with, okay, so this is basically where we can place our, oh, this is where we can place our, uh, what do you call them, refineries. And I'm totally aware that this is not the right placement it was actually way better than i thought but coming to think of it we actually need to or we want to at least leave a gap of one between them oh This is a lot of refineries. I must have miscalculated somewhere. I think I have miscalculated somewhere. I just don't know where. Okay. We need more pipes. And more underground pipes. I'm pretty sure of it at least. Do we need more? I don't know. We don't need more iron. That's interesting. Pipes. There we go. There we have pipes. Two stacks. Oops. Let's hope that's enough. Underground pipes. One, two stacks of those as well, I think. And then our factories have something to do while we are messing with everything over here. Okay, so if we set that recipe, and then we go to the right and we set the same recipe, the easy thing to do is of course to continue with this line. Then we don't need to worry about anything, uh, but we want to have, let's see, get rid of these ones and then we do this hmm I 
I'm thinking about doing doing a blueprint of this. Oh, oh, that doesn't help us. We need way, way better blueprint. <laughs> We need to include the rest of the stuff as well. Okay, so let's uh, let's get this connected as well. Okay, and then we have this one and then we need the next part of the blueprint man this is way bigger than i thought it would be of course if i had checked it before then all of the calculations i wouldn't have thought it was bigger than than expected but it's, oh I need to do one more to the right, but it's more fun not to do it. Well, sometimes, sometimes it's just annoying. Okay. I think we have everything over here, except of course any storage. But let, oh, come on. How do I create the blueprints? That way, okay. So let's do it like this. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Hmm, let's get all of this cut down of course only until the end of this uh, this refinery that's what it's called I don't know why it's so hard the refinery <laughs> to remember the that word refinery Okay, and then we need to go all the way to the left as well. Goody. Except those. Okay, let's fill in everything. Let's hope we are not doing too many mistakes. Oh, we already have a few mistakes going on over here. Uh, let's actually solve those immediately to not forget about it. It's so easy working with blueprints and forgetting that you are actually building something and you might have made a mistake earlier. And then we go with all of the underground pipes. I think we need more underground pipes. What? Okay, is this? Let's have a look. This is connected. Yeah, it is connected correctly. This seems to be f be okay. Let's uh, go with these ones as well to complete the right side. Okay, but when we get more. Uh, 
more research done on uh, on oil. We don't need this many refineries anymore. Yeah, this episode is becoming way longer than I thought when I started. But I think we are soon finished. If we only had enough underground pipes. Ninety-two more. Well, that have to be enough. I think that is enough. Uh, maybe not, to be honest. I think this is enough for the output. I'm actually gonna say that we are gonna connect this output and that's it. Once we have connected this, it have to be the end of the episode and we will work in the next episode to get smelting up and to connect the uh, oil input. Actually we can do this and we can do this. Good. Yeah, let's go for this one. Uh, maybe, just maybe, I should uh, plank, oh, not that one, this one. I should plank down power poles as well. Oh, I thought they would place automatically in between. If I click at the right time, it places. But I'm not good at that, apparently. But okay, that's it for this episode. Thank you a lot for watching. And uh, yeah, this is a big build. This is only for one resource, but I think it is the most complex build. Not in the game, but for a long time. Until we have uh, robots, at least. Anyway, thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.